What's up, Longhorns? It's your boy, Palaya, and welcome to another edition of Longhorn Center. Let's recap last week's game against UCLA, where Texas lost a close one in Dallas. This game was neck and neck all night long, with Texas taking a 10-3 lead into halftime. UCLA's Brett Hundley injured his non-throwing elbow in the first quarter and did not return, leaving his backup, Jerry Neuheisel, to take over the offense. After UCLA tied it at 10 in the third, they then took the lead in the fourth quarter by a field goal, making it 13-10, before Texas responded with a hurry-up touchdown to go up 17-13. UCLA again answered this time off a of pump-and-go route, resulting in a 33-yard touchdown pass from Neuheisel to Jordan Payton. On the play, you can see that Duke Thomas was caught watching the quarterback, then he got flat-footed, so Jordan Payton ran right by him to grab the touchdown pass. Texas did, however, have a chance to answer, but the offense choked and time ran out. Now, despite the loss, the team did show signs of improvement, especially against the 12th-ranked UCLA. Quarterback Tyrone Swoops appeared to be getting more comfortable running the offense and also showed off his arm strength. At one point when Texas was running their hurry-up offense, they had UCLA completely on their heels on their way to scoring a touchdown. These were positive flashes of potential. However, the team still needs to be able to finish and close out games. And it wasn't the last play that got us beat, but there's just so many plays within that game that you know, we had a chance to put it away. An important update out of Austin came this week that David Ash will be officially retiring from football given his concussion history. According to Charlie Strong, Ash will continue to be a part of the team and travel with the team as well as attend practice. Texas had a week four bye week to prepare for Big 12 play starting with Kansas in week five. Now Kansas is a team still trying to figure themselves out and they're currently 2-1 after beating Central Michigan 24-10 this past Saturday. And with that said, it is now time for our game prediction for week five, so here we go. Texas will be playing away this time and the Jayhawks are a team which has its own offensive struggle, much like the Longhorns. But that's going to be great news for the Longhorn defense, which you can expect to overwhelm this Kansas offense. Look for Texas to force a couple of turnovers because that front seven will probably have a field day Saturday. Offensively, the Horns will hopefully implement more and more of that hurry up offense we saw against UCLA and put up their highest score thus far in the season. So that being said, Texas wins this one 49-14 to open the Big 12, putting them at 2-2 two two for the season. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. You can also tweet me at IamPalaya and also subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next week. Hook'em horns.